Good afternoon. The topic uh, of my study was multifocal electroretinogram changes in hydroxychloroquine users. There is no financial dis interest. Uh, hydroxychloroquine is a disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drug used for treatment of autoimmune diseases and its toxicity is characterized by bilateral bullseye maculopathy and it leads to irreversible loss of visual function even after the drug has been stopped. The toxic mechanism of the toxicity is that it gets accumulated in the retinal pigment epithelial cells leading to progressive outer retinal toxicity toxicity resulting in RPE and photoreceptor cell death eventually leading to uh, secondary vision loss. Multifocal electroretinogram is an objective method to detect localized retinal abnormalities by Sutter in 1992. And our study focuses on MFERG changes in HCQ users and its significance in early detection of drug toxicity in patients reporting to a tertiary care center in South India. Aim of the study to evaluate the changes of MFERG in patients on HCQ treatment and to correlate with other subjective and objective tests in detecting early toxicity. Materials and methodology, it was a retrospective cross-sectional study done from the period June 2021 to June 2022. After obtaining demographic details of the patient, the following were uh, recorded which include included dosage and duration of HCQ, visual acuity, SDOCT, 10-2 and 30-2 automated visual field, fundus photograph and MFERG. And statistical analysis were done and a p-value of less than 0 0.05 were considered to be significant. And the results were, the mean age was 53.12 plus or minus 15.3 years and the majority of patients were above 45 years of age. And HCQ dosage, 6 patients out of 50 patients were exposed to a total HCQ dose of dose greater than 1000 grams and an average daily dose of HCQ was 200 milligram in 45 patients, 300 milligram in one patient and 400 milligram in four patients. Majority of patients took treatment for less than or equal to five years and three patients received treatment for less than one year duration and one patient received HCQ for more than 20 years. On visual field analysis, 10-2 fields, it was normal in 44 patients and toxicity was uh, detected in 6 patients. And uh, in 30-2 fields, normal visual fields were, was there in 35 patients and toxicity was detected in 15 patients. MFERG was normal in 31 patients uh, and abnormal in 19 patients. And patients with MFERG abnormality, the most common abnormality was parafoveal depression, which included 16 patients, followed by generalized depression, which included 3 patients. And this was the uh, picture showing parafoveal depression and generalized depression in uh, MFERG. OCT and fundus autofluorescence, there was no gross abnormality detected in, uh, in our patients. Coming to discussion, MFERG changes mostly in the form of parafoveal depression was detected in 19 subjects, similar to that reported by Sang et al. And there was no such statistically significant association between dose of hydroxychloroquine or duration of treatment with M MFERG changes. And MFERG changes in patients with normal visual fields. 10-2 fields were normal in 44 patients. And among these 44 patients, 9 patients showed MFERG changes, indicating early toxicity that was not detected by the 10-2 fields. And 30-2 fields were normal normal in 35 patients, uh, in which 4 patients showed changes in MFERG, indicating early toxicity not detected by 30-2 fields. Importance of a wider uh, field testing. Visual field defects were detected more often in the 30-2 fields compared to 10-2 fields, and this is consistent with the reported data on Asian eyes exhibiting more peripheral field defects, which goes undetected on performing a 10-2 field alone, and this underlines the importance of performing 24-2 or 30-2 fields in our population. MFRG detecting early toxicity in our series, four patients with MFRG changes did not exhibit any visual field defect. Though both visual fields and MFRG are objective tests which detect functional changes, MFRG is highly sensitive and can detect very early changes even before the appearance of field test. Conclusion, MFERG detects early toxicity in clinically symptomatic and asymptomatic patients on long-term HCQ therapy. Even patients with normal visual acuity, normal fundus, and normal visual fields can have abnormal ERG changes. And central visual field testing of 10-2 along with 30-2 is useful in detecting HCQ toxicity in Asian population. And MFERG emerged to be one of the objective tests for early detection and follow-up of eyes with suspected toxicity. These were my references. Thank you. Uh, good study, Minna. Uh, I just wanted to know what is the kind of visual field defect you had detected and was there any correlation with the uh, defect? Visual with the field MFRG? defects were mostly um, paracentral defects uh, and uh, few uh, parafoveal defects also. 
So was, uh, did you do any kind of a correlation uh, with those defects with MFERG? Uh, Maybe you have not presented, that's why I asked you. Uh, actually, we didn't do that. Okay, another thing is, uh, do you recommend to get an MFERG, like based on your study before starting an HCQ? Uh, it can be included as uh, as a screen test. Or just test. a field defect is, I mean field test is better. Uh, field test, uh, in our study four patients had uh, MFERG toxicity, uh, those who did not show field defect. So uh, MFERG definitely detects uh, toxicity earlier. So more studies have to come uh, to conclude uh, that MFERG is doing better than uh, visual fit. Ours is a retrospective study. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, one last question. Um, you said that 24-2 uh, or 30-2 picked up more uh, changes than the 10-2. Uh, were there any patients who were not picked up in 24-2 that were picked up in 10-2? No, sir. No. Then why do a 10-2 at all? Is your recommendation that we stop doing 10-2 for all these patients? 10-2 uh, has been recommended according to the American Academy, uh, American Ophthalmology Guidelines. Uh, but in Asian, Asian population, peripheral uh, field effects are more common than uh, central field. You ruled out these peripheral field effects from other causes, I assume? Yes, sir.